Hi, this is Corey Lawball, Automotive Fleet Supervisor in the Mid-Atlantic District. And today we're going to discuss the proper setup of a bench grinder here at UPS. This is one of the things that is uh, one of the major gigs on about every audit that I've attended is the guards and the rests aren't properly adjusted to the wheels and the brushes when it's set up. First and foremost, whenever we're doing any type of adjustments to any powered equipment like this, we want to cut the power to the equipment. So something like this, that's as easy as unplugging the cord and verifying that it's not powered up. Another thing about safety with a bench grinder is um, not only that these are here, but that we have the proper signage and also that we have the belt dressing tool attached to the to the bench grinder so that this can be done uh, whenever necessary okay so once we have a, a finely dressed wheel looks good and clean now we begin to set up procedure so according to ups standards um, we have an eighth inch gap between the rest and the wheel and the brush so for this we use a little handy trick to measure an eighth of an inch we use an eighth inch drill bit to set the gap in between Once we have the drill bit in place and the rest pushed up, go ahead and tighten the bolts. Um, we'll insert the quarter inch drill bit in between the wheel and the base of the guard. Set the spacing, tighten the bolts, just like we did with the rest. And then we'll just repeat the same operation on the other side as we did on the first side. Get our spacing to the wire wheel side and tighten the bolts for the rest. Okay, now we've seen how to properly set up the guards and the rest on the bench grinder. I want to talk about the uh, quick safety on how we operate the machine. Um, we want to make sure that we have some sort of eye protection, uh, any jewelry, loose clothing. When we're grinding on small parts, we want to use vice grips or something to hold it firmly while, while we're using it so it doesn't get caught and get thrown dangerously across the shop somewhere. But now that it's all set back up, we can go ahead and return power and return, return this to service. Have a good day.